Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. As I promised, I do have the Green Leaf Season 5 Episode 9 Home Going Celebration Review and Recap. And as we all saw, it really wasn't an episode with the theatrics. It was more so an episode for the cast to give all of the viewers closure, what they thought about being on the show for five years. So it was really refreshing. You could tell that the network wanted to give the fan base something to say goodbye to and not ending up on a sad note so it was really really refreshing to see that even though the fan base brought the show back for a season five unfortunately the show didn't keep going any further due to ratings now if you want to see more information if you missed that video make sure to go to this video here where I go into detail about the hows and the whys of why green leaf ended so for this home going celebration before I even start let's just get just a moment of silence just for Lynn Whitfield how beautiful is she she is what 72 years young and she looks absolutely amazing I'm gonna know what she's eating I'm gonna know what she's cooking I'm gonna know what she bathes in I'm gonna know what times and what days what that she eats I'm gonna know what she puts on her skin I'm gonna know what she puts on her hair I want to know what she puts on her teeth I want to know where she gets her clothes from I want to know how she meditates does she exercise what are her inner thoughts she looks absolutely amazing and and might I add showed a nice supple bosom may I say at that age and some people you know they really can't show their chest or their upper upper breast area and and she's just beaming she looks I don't know she's just amazing I don't know everything about her I mean anybody that's dealing with her know that knows her anything about her I need you to send me all of that information in an email send me a DM please Lynn what are your secrets um is it witchcraft is it uh I, I just I just tell us you know um because I'm really interested I mean you look you look like you I, I don't know you just don't look real you look absolutely amazing I want to be Lynn Winfield when I grow up yeah I think I, I think that's what I want to be I made up my mind yeah <laughs> but going into the cast they shared several stories about things that they shared as cast members um, memories, how they grew as people, how it helped out to their acting, things that they would take with them in future endeavors. And it was also interesting because I read in several posts that this bonus episode would give me, give us more information about a spinoff. Now I did give my prediction in the finale video about what I think this spinoff should be about. Make sure that you click on that video because if I get that right, you guys, and you guys, if I have guessed what the fin what the spinoff is about, I mean, come on. I mean, I just, I am, you know, Bunny Damas. I mean, I'm just guessing all of the endings to these shows. I mean, come on, I have to take a moment to brag. This show is over. And if you've been a viewer on my channel, Everything that I've guessed about this show has come into fruition, okay? Don't know anybody on that set. I wish I did. Don't know, know anyone on that production team. I wish I did. But you guys, you got to give me kudos. That is an avid, very, very pay attention to detail movie television series reviewer okay you guys make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell to this family friendly channel so you don't miss any future posts um i really like this home going celebration like i said before this was just something to give fans that final goodbye uh when it comes to the cast big kudos to the production team the wardrobe hair, set design, everything that was new and fresh with this series was absolutely amazing. Also, Keith is just a wonderful actor. I mean, this, this season cast, you guys, stays booked, okay? I love Keith because of just one of the things he does. I'm a big fan of Rick and Morty, and he does a lot of the voiceover work on that animated series. He just stays booked. I mean, and Lynn Whitfield, I mean, it's no doubt in my mind she'll be in other things. And also Meryl, she 
She's no stranger to Broadway. She's amazing. But I just have no doubt in my mind that we'll, we will see all of these actors um, go on to other endeavors on different networks and other writings. I would love to see a lot of the actors go into something completely different. Comedy, uh, horror. It's just the broad spe spectrum of whoever picked the core cast of this series. Let me know what you'll miss the most. And also let me know some of the things that weren't answered in this series. Keep in mind, they did have limited budgeting and limited uh, episodes in which they could film. We did, we do have confirmation that they filmed majority of all of the episodes before COVID hit. So we know that everybody was safe before everything got super serious with the COVID. Um, but I really think Craig Wright, my suggestion for that spinoff, hey, you guys, if that happens, you know, you guys have got to put me on the map for saying what that good spinoff should be. Please go back and see what I think the, the spinoff should be about because Lynn Whitfield did say um, during the filming of the home home going celebration that the cast does not know what the spinoff will be about. They do know that the creators and productions are, production team are brainstorming as we speak. Even during quarantine, you can still write, you can still brainstorm, you can still have Zoom meetings about potential storylines. If they come out with that storyline, you guys, I don't know what else to tell you besides that I have a good guessing brain. I don't know. I look forward to so much more. Please let me know uh, things that you thought were left out without a doubt for me. Um, I did say in the last review, of course, there were several things that were left out because there's only so much that you can do with eight to nine episodes. Really the core eight, eight episodes. We still don't know who that mystery person was that Grace saw at the grave site. A lot of people was like, you know, was that the real AJ? Was that the, I really don't understand what that supernatural experience had to do with anything. I think the ball was dropped with the writing when it came to that. So you guys, you can just lay that to rest. It's over. You will never know the who's and the why's and the what's. It's over. It's done. They've torn up that script and burned it. I don't know what, what ha happened. Um, a lot of things with Bob Whitmore, did he just up and disappear is he still running for senator there's a lot of stuff thrown in the air don't be too angry don't be too upset because series in the series tend to end sometimes with a lot of questions unanswered and and frustrated things that fans still want to know and they want to find out but that's why you have to have seasoned eyes to look at other things that are on television you've got to broaden your your palette to to more things more networks besides the own network okay um, there are so many other things that are going on. Please keep your eye out for movie trailers and also new series that are coming. Um, I also uh, viewed the fact that they said that Queen Sugar will not be debuting until 2021. I can make a good guess that it has a lot, a lot to do with the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and it's slowing down production. I can make a good guess about that. Usually series tend to tend to film a year before anything debuts. So maybe they started a good chunk of filming last year uh, and maybe didn't finish the, the last little tweaks towards the end of the year. Um, because even though with the United States, even though they started to really slow down a lot of things at the beginning of March and things started to shut down, this pandemic was going on and we were aware that this virus was happening and things were going on. So a lot of things beforehand, um, especially a lot of endeavors uh, concerning filming, location filming already started to shut down in early January. Um, but that's something that you don't hear about unless you are reading up on it, TV guide, different news weeks about production uh, concerning M NBC, Comcast, ABC, et cetera. And those are the type of things that I read. Also encourage yourself to 
Think about how this show impacted your life. A lot of people were inspired by this series because it was something different. It had something to do with church, going in depth with church and mega churches, the politics behind it, everything like that. Let me know what you thought about this home going celebration. I really think it was very kind of them to put that together, to actually have the cast take their time out to sit down and reflect what they thought about their experiences while on the set. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Make sure that you go back and you look at the finale and look at everything else, you guys, because I really want you guys to stay afloat of what's going on. Be safe, protect yourself, be very mindful and don't underestimate COVID-19. Be precautious, but not fearful. Until next time, have a wonderful evening, a wonderful week. Share this family-friendly channel with family and friends. Please get the word out about this channel. Also follow me on Instagram at the same profile name, officialbun underscore E. Until next time, bye.